for today's wildlife news for the day. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a wildlife biologist. I have worked with wildlife across 36 states and in three continents, including collecting snakes and uh, birds across Africa for, that are now in the Smithsonian. So today's wildlife news really hits home because it is a uh, fatal snake bite that happened in the United States. Now, there's only about five fatal snake bites that happen in the U.S. versus, say, up to 136,000 uh, every year across the world. Uh, so the man in Tennessee uh, that has not been identified, it has been found that, however, that he picked up the venomous uh, timber rattlesnake and was holding it before he was bitten. If you guys don't know, key demographics for snake bites, uh, typically they're young adults or children sometimes. Victims are usually male. Uh, location is usually fingers or hands. Uh, and typically handling the snakes, working outdoors or occupational settings. And unfortunately, substance abuse, such as alcohol, does come into play. Um, so it's very sad uh, hearing that. Uh, the venomous snakes in the U.S. are rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths, or water moccasins, you might know them as. Uh, those are your pit vipers. And of course, coral snakes are the exception, being those. Uh, they have like a rounded head, pupils in general. Uh, so uh, that hit, it's close to home uh, for me, just because uh, I've done so much work with snakes around. Uh, basically, you know, general safety tip, when in doubt, stay away from the snake. Don't get close. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to identify it. Just back back away. Uh, they're not going to chase you. Snakes don't chase you. Uh, so anyway, any questions you might have, please let me know. Uh, and uh, thanks for pointing that out.